بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين الإمام المخاري ومسلم they collect in their hadith collections hadith on related by Abu Hurairah رضي الله عنه who says that رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم said من أكل ناسيا وهو صائم فليتم صومه فإنما أطعمه الله وسقاه رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم said in the hadith that whoever uh, forgets and they eat while they are fasting, then let them complete فليتم صومه let them let that person complete his fasting, and it is indeed that Allah is the one who has fed him and given him drink. Allah is the one who has fed him and given him drink. So if a person is fasting and they forgetfully eat or drink, then they continue. They continue to fast and know that this is a bounty, a ni'mah from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that Allah has fed them and given them drink and their fast is still valid and they don't have to make it up. This is something that we would uh, expect maybe in the first few days of Ramadan. A person is not used to the fasting and they forgetfully eat or drink. If you're still eating or drinking 10 to 15 days into Ramadan, then you know it's not as expected. But even if you forget on the last day of Ramadan, very last day of Ramadan, and you're still forgetting and eating or drinking, your fast uh, is still valid, and you continue the fast, even as the scholars say, even if, whether it is that uh, you take a morsel, one bite, or you have an entire meal, you forgetfully eat, and you have an entire meal, you chug an entire glass of water, you go to a restaurant, and you order a buffet, you eat the whole restaurant out, but all of it is forgetful, out of forgetfulness, then your fast is still valid. Of course, this is something not, not uh, it's a bit far-fetched to think about, but if a person does so forgetfully, and once they remember, once you remember, then you stop, and you don't take anything else, then the fast is still valid, and you don't have to make it up afterwards. You don't have to make it up afterwards. And this shows the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that Allah does not call us into account for our forgetfulness. Forgetfulness is a natural part of being human, natural part of being human. And it is from the perfection of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that He is the one who does not forget. Your Lord does not forget. But human beings, we forget. And so it is from the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that He does not call us into account for our forgetfulness. And this is what we say in our dua. Rabbana la tu'akhidna in nasina aw akhta'na. Oh, our Lord, do not call us into account. Do not hold us accountable for what we forget and what we are in and what we make mistakes in. And it comes in the hadith, إن الله تجاوز عن أمتي الخطأ والنسيان ومستكره علي That Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has forgiven for my ummah what they are in, what they make mistakes in. الخطأ والنسيان And what they do out of forgetfulness ومستكره علي And what they have done out of coercion, what they have done out of uh, not by choice but by force. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has overlooked all of these things. And forgetfulness is a human quality. It is an innate human quality. And this goes all the way back to our father Adam alayhi salam. Goes all the way back to our father Adam alayhi salam. The very first mistake that he did was due to forgetfulness. As Allah says in the Quran, وَلَقَدْ عَهِدْنَا إِلَىٰ آدَمَ مِنْ قَبْلُ فَنَسِيَ وَلَمْ نَجِدْ لَهُ عَزْمًا And we made the covenant with Adam alayhi salam, but he forgot. And we did not find him of those of firm and strong resolve. And this is because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala had warned him, Alam anhakuma antilkuma shajara. Did I not warn you not to approach that tree? Wa akul lakuma inna shaytana lakuma aduwa mubeen. And did I not tell you that shaytan is for you an open enemy? But Adam alayhi salam, he forgot. And this is the nature of human beings. If our father Adam alayhi salam forgets, then human beings will also forget. We have the example of Musa alayhi salam, who also forget, who forgot mentioned in the Quran, in his amazing story with Al-Khidr, or Al-Khadr, when they traveled together, Musa alayhi salam was told that there is a person more knowledgeable than you. The person has more knowledge, more, more knowledge than even you. So Musa alayhi salam decided, I'm gonna go meet that person. And I'm not gonna stop until I reach the parting of the two seas, or amdiya hukuba, or I spend a long time searching. And he met with this individual who had knowledge that he did not have. And he requested to learn from him. 
هل أتبعك على أن تعلمني مما علمته رشدا؟ Can I follow you? Can I accompany you so that you can teach me from what Allah has taught you? And so Al Khidr, he told Musa, you can accompany me, but I don't think you will have patience. Inna kalan tastatia maia sabra. You will not have patience with me. Musa insisted, I will have patience. So Al Khidr, he gave the condition. If you accompany me, فلا تسألني عن شيء حتى أحدث لك منه ذكرى. Do not uh, ask me any questions. No questions until I be the one to tell you what the explanation is. So they continued on, and the story is a very long story. We're not going to mention the entire story. It's an amazing story with much benefit and much lessons. But Khidr does a number of things that Musa finds perplexing. The first thing he does is put a hole in a ship of people who, bar they borrowed their ship and he put a hole in their ship. So Musa asks, why did you do that for? And Al-Khidr, he tells him, did I not tell you? Did I not tell you that you would not be able to have patience with me? And Musa السلام, what did he say? He said, do not hold me into account for what I forgot. I forgot. And then Khidr does another action, perplexing, confusing. He asked again, and then the third time, and then after that, Al-Khidr tells Musa alayhi salam, هذا فراق بيني وبينك. This is our parting, and we will not uh, have continued this journey any longer, but I will tell you the explanation of all those things. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi says in the hadith about uh, Musa alayhi salam, يرحم الله موسى. May Allah have mercy on Musa. لَوَدِتُوا أَنَّهُ لَوْ صبر. I wish that he would have had more patience, so that we could have heard more from the story of uh, Al-Khidr and Musa, which is very uh, interesting and amazing story in Surah Al-Kaf. Uh, we'll end off with another, coming back to Adam salam, another story of forgetfulness. It comes in the hadith really by uh, Tirmidhi, that when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created Adam, he extracted from Adam salam all of the progeny, all of his progeny, billions and billions of human beings, extracted and placed in front of him. And so Adam salam is looking at all these billions of souls right in front of him. And he sees that some of them have light, emanating light from them. And he asks about those who have light. And he points out one in particular. And he says, who is this person? And then it is said to him, this is Prophet Dawood. This is Prophet Dawood salam. So Adam salam, he says, how many years have you given him to live? How many years has he been given to live? And then he was told he has been given 60 years, 60 years of life. So Adam salam said, take 40 years from me and give him, give it to him so that he can complete 100 years. And so this transfer was completed. And then when it came time for Adam salam to depart this worldly life, the angel of death approached him. And the angels of death, the angel of death, they do not take the souls of, of the prophets without permission. So they, he came to Adam salam seeking his permission to take his soul. And Adam alayhi salam, he said, do, not, not, do I not have 40 years left? I, th I thought I had 40 years left of my life. And then it was said to him, the angel said to him, did you not give it to your son Dawood? And hadith ends, فَجَحَدَ Adam. Adam denied. فَجَحَدَتْ ذُرِّيَتُهُ And so his progeny, they also deny. وَنَسِيَ Adam. And Adam forgot. فَنَسِيَتْ ذُرِّيَتُهُ And his progeny also forgets. وَخَطِيَ Adam And Adam made a mistake. فَخَطِيَتْ ذُرِّيَتُهُ And his progeny also make mistakes. رَبَّنَا لَا تُؤَخِذْنَا إِنَّ سِينَا أَوْ أَخْطَعْنَا وَبَّنَا وَلَا تَحْمَلْ عَلَيْنَا إِسْرًا كَمَا حَمَلْتُهُ عَلَى الَّذِينَ مِنْ قَبْلِنَا رَبَّنَا وَلَا تُحَمِّلْنَا مَا لَا طَاقَةَ لَنَا بِهِ وَعَفُ عَنَا وَاغْفِرْ لَنَا وَارْحَمْنَا أنت مولانا فانصرنا على القوم الكافرين وصلى الله وسلم وبارك على سيدنا محمد والحمد لله رب العالمين جزاكم الله خير